I know you guys remember uh, my truck, how I'm trying to modify it and I just add things to it, you know, slowly. Um, well, something went wrong and uh, yeah, I'm here to tell you, that you guys about that today. Um, basically, my check engine light came on and that's on my 2015 Chevy Equinox LT. And I mean, that left me surprised what's going on is basically it turns off like when it's on idle um, or you're backing up or you're about to go forward like it wants to turn off on me and like I said the check engine light is on so uh, this is what sucks about it um, I already hit up a mechanic and um, see that light started like the way it started happening is at a when I was about to take off on a light I was taking off on a light and it kind of felt like it tugged you know I thought it was probably the the gas pump the fuel pump or whatever and then you know but the light wasn't on yet you know and then later on in the future like it did it again I thought it was gonna turn off but the light didn't never came on okay so then one time uh, I was at Ross and um, with my wife I was backing up I was on reverse and it turned off on me at first I thought I was hitting a curve next to the parking spot that I was in cuz it like slowed so I was like oh shit I'm hitting a curve and I stopped but then it turned off I was like my wife just looked at me like what'd you do like I was like I don't know the car just turned off you know what I mean when your car turns off on you and it's a I mean, this is a four-year-old car. When it turns off on you and it's a four-year-old car and there's nothing ever supposed to be wrong with it, at 56,000 miles on it, you become very serious very quickly. Like, what's going on? You get scared immediately. Like, right now, my car is on, you know? Um, but I, I had already somebody uh, check it with the like little computer chip on the bottom. Somebody checked it. So what I'm basically, I'm putting this video up because I want anybody out there that knows about cars. Cause I do know that, I understand that I got a lot of, you know, a lot of, well, most of my subscribers are kids and they probably don't have cars, but I do have some people that subscribe just because of my car. And if you know anything about why a car turns off on you, please let me know. And um, I looked up online already on what it could be. And what I was seeing is that um, this other YouTuber that knows how to fix cars basically said it's probably like the thing that the something that's basically like around here that has these little forks that take in the air. I think the EC, ECU valve or uh, um, anyways, something that takes in the air from this and uh, basically reads how much air you're getting into the car and that's what lets it run correctly you know what I mean but I mean it gave me it basically said all the right things for for it said all the right things for like what it, what is my, my what my car is doing like it turns off or on idle it wants to turn off um, or when I'm about to go it wants to turn off or it turns off and but see, I went to a mechanic and he put the chip in and he told me there's something under my carburetor, uh, something, something basically more serious. And um, so I don't, I don't really know. Um, I think he even said the thermostat. He told me the thermostat was something wrong with it, but my car doesn't overheat. And also too, it doesn't stay cold because that thing tells me that it's, you know, it warms up to where it's supposed to warm up. So I'm kind of worried. I mean, I checked it in two different places, uh, two me different mechanics. And um, the mechanic that originally tested it said he would charge me 390, so almost $400. And the other mechanic said, what I'm worried about is because the other mechanic basically said, what, he's gonna charge you that little bit? And that's not possible. I was like, well, he's a, cause the original mechanic that I took it to is a family mechanic. So I'm trusting him and he told me it's 100%. He, he checked it with the chip. When I called him, I was like, are you sure it's not this? He's like, no, it's I'm 100% is um, what I told you. 
he goes trust me um you know what i mean and whatnot so the thing about this mechanic is that he's a family he's a family friend he's been a family friend for probably like 20 years so i and he's charging me hella cheap because uh the other guy basically straight up said that um that it was uh that was hella cheap but i told him he was a family friend he's like uh oh, damn okay but he goes all right because i was telling him how much he would charge me he's like how much are they trying to charge you and i was just not trying to give him the right price but i told him kind of some wise like 450. he's like what that's hella cheap I mean, basically long story short we just went back and forth i didn't learn anything out of that but i did learn that basically they're saying basically that this has to be removed and there's like a valve or whatever, whatever that is that needs to be replaced and like a sensor there you go they said a sensor was wrong so almost and then i looked up on youtube and they said something right here but my original mechanic said something about a freaking he had mentioned a, a thermostat the second mechanic didn't mention a thermostat he mentioned a sensor so what do i listen to i want i need you guys' help if you know anything about cars um by the way this is a chevy equinox uh, 2015 LT, you know. Uh, look at this car. You know what I mean? Um, it's it's not an old car. You know what I mean? And uh, it's not even like that car over there, the beige car. See, that's a 2011. It still looks newish. You know what I mean? And I can understand problems can still occur with those type of cars. There's no um, a recall on this type of truck. You know what I mean? This there's no recalls as far as I know, and I did call the freaking dealership a long time ago because uh, for those people that have an Equinox, you guys know that it's a sluggish car. It's slow. You know what I mean? And the way it hits its gears because it's a four-cylinder, it's basically slow and it's just different compared to my wife's uh, Camry Toyota uh, 2011. That thing jams. I mean, it looks like a grandma car. But that Toyota, the beige one, that thing jams. And I mean like, put it this way, you barely step on the gas and you're already going like freaking 80 miles per hour and, and I'm not playing. I mean, you don't have to, I don't care if you believe me or not, I'm not playing. That thing, you barely tap it and it, and it goes fast. You in the car hardly even makes a noise. This one, it's an ugly sounding car. Look, I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can tell. What's wrong with my car? You know what I mean? I can't safely drive it anywhere. So I asked them what happens if I, cause right now, honestly, I'm on a budget, everything. It just, things went down south for me. I'm on a budget and uh, I can't drive it. I mean, I drive it, but it's sad. You know what I mean? It's a new car, you know what I mean? I mean, it's only 390. He said it's nothing serious. I just barely noticed this. It has this right here. That's kind of cool. You know what I mean? What do you guys think is wrong with my car? Do you guys know? Does anybody have a clue? Can you guys help me? Can you tell me if you know about maybe a past in the in the past you dealt with something similar? Can you guys help me and tell me if it's something that you know? Cuz I asked them, does it have to do anything with my system? You know? And he said, "No, it has nothing to do with that." If you guys are local, and you guys are interested in copying this you want to buy this and all that i'll sell you basically the amp <laughs> the amp and the the speakers and everything
don't think I'm Steven now. Yeah, still kicks hell hard. Oh, it's hard. I don't want to sell it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'm probably not going to sell it. But if anybody comes up with like good, good price, I'm showing you guys basically a system that works. I'm showing you guys. It's just honestly, I need the money to repair my truck. Um, I mean, I know my the repair uh, to repair it. It would be like three nine. It's three ninety. That's what he said. But, um, I mean, honestly, I'm sure on bills, you know what I mean? I just lost my job. I didn't want to really say it on YouTube, but I lost my job. And, uh, I mean, it is what it is, you know what I mean? So, please let me know, guys. All right, uh, stay tuned.